Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Dallas Cowboys star Larry Allen called wife Janelle my heart and soul before his death. Dallas Cowboys legend and Hall of Famer Larry Allen, who died suddenly on vacation in Mexico with his family on June 2, leaves behind his wife, Janelle, and three kids, according to a statement from the team on June 3. He spoke lovingly about his family on social media and in his Hall of Fame speech, calling his wife his heart and soul. The Dallas Cowboys are very saddened to share that Cowboys legend, Super Bowl champion, Cowboys Ring of Honor member, and Pro Football Hall of Famer Larry Allen passed away suddenly while on vacation in Mexico with his family on Sunday, the team wrote in a statement on its X page on June 3. He was deeply loved and cared for by his wife, Janelle, whom he referred to as his heart and soul, his daughters Jayla and Loriana and son, Larry III. The Jones family and the Cowboys extend their deepest condolences, thoughts and prayers to the Allen family and grieve along with the many other friends and Cowboys teammates that also loved Larry, the Cowboys wrote. Indeed, Allen wrote, my heart and soul alongside a photo of him with his wife on Instagram in 2018. With heavy hearts, we announce the passing of Cowboys legend Larry Allen, the Dallas Cowboys wrote. On June 3. They did not release a cause of death. In 2019, Allen posted an old-time photo showing his wife and kids on his Instagram page. My fam, he wrote. That same year, he posted a picture captioned, The Allen Women. Allen also posted pictures on Instagram of his son graduating from Harvard University. Yeah Larry. Allen wrote with one photo of his namesake son. Congrats to my son on his Harvard degree, he wrote with another post. He captioned another Instagram post, Super Bowl with my firstborn. With another post, he wrote, baked me a cake and gave me a 40-ounce love my family, he wrote with another post. Allen spoke about his wife Janelle when he was shrined in the NFL Hall of Fame, according to a transcript on the Hall of Fame website. Of course I want to thank my heart and soul, my wife, Janelle, he wrote. On our first date, she cooked for me. She cooked me two chickens, french fries, and baked me a cake and gave me a 40 ounce. I knew then, that was my wife right there. He added, she has blessed me with three beautiful children, Jayla Lee Allen, she's a talented actress and a writer. She helped me write this speech. I remember when she was a little girl, I would have a bad game. She was sensitive, and she'd come up to me and say, Daddy, what's wrong? She was about four years old. She would bring me cookies, cakes, and just try to cheer me up. She'll be going to Pepperdine University this year, I'm so proud of my little mama, and I hope she'll turn into. I know she's going to be an amazing woman. Allen also spoke about his other kids. My youngest, Loriana Allen, she's a basketball player. She's kind of like LeBron James. She's pretty good. She's the funniest person I know. She makes me laugh all the time. To my son, Larry Allen III. He's a 6'4", 290-pound offensive lineman that plays at De La Salle High School, the number one team in California. He's the smartest person I know, and I'm proud of you, son. Very polite, but once he gets on that field, he's a beast, just like his daddy. Vikings WR Justin Jefferson resets market and CD Lamb expectations with four-year, $140 million deal. It was always going to be hard for Jerry Jones to top his infamous all-in proclamation about the 2024 Dallas Cowboys. This is the case because the team was overwhelmingly the least active across the league in terms of free agency. The line was more of a punchline than anything. But do not tell Jerry Jones that something cannot be done. He will find a way. Just before the NFL draft Jones was asked about the pending contract extension for Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb and Micah Parsons, and whether or not the team felt any pressure from the market around them to get ahead of things and put pen to paper as soon as possible. Jerry noted that he wanted to see some more leaves fall before making a move. The whole forest just toppled over. The Detroit Lions and Philadelphia Eagles took care of Amonare St. Brown and A.J. Brown, respectively, in the immediate aftermath of Jones-Leafs line. That was funny enough. But, 
with all due respect to them, Lam is in a different territory. For Lam, things were always going to be about what the Minnesota Vikings gave Justin Jefferson, arguably the best wide receiver in the NFL. On Monday morning, that stone overturned. Jefferson and the Vikings agreed to a four-year, $140 million extension. That is $35 million per year. It should be noted that the Vikings are in a much different overall team situation than the Cowboys at the moment. Minnesota has a brand new quarterback on a rookie contract in J.J. McCarthy and are properly taking advantage of the financial freedom that comes with that. If only Dallas had been so visionary during the days of Dak Prescott's rookie deal. But on the subject of Prescott, he is a pending extension in his own right. Perhaps the front office has been too busy juggling their two offensive stars, while Micah Parsons waits in the wings, or ultimately just surrendered to the idea that they were always going to have to pay a little bit more to Lamb than the Vikings did Jefferson, similar to nine years ago when Des Bryant and Demarius Thomas got their deals within, what felt like, five minutes of one another. Cowboys could add ex-Buccaneers WR as low-risk, high-reward signing. The Dallas Cowboys are considering various options to bolster their WR group, but the best solution could be a former Tampa Bay Buccaneer. As Cowboys running back Deuce Vaughn sees work at slot WR, veteran WR Russell Gage is still looking for a new team. Gage is one of the few prominent names remaining in free agency. It's not exactly clear why he's yet to sign a deal, but he is coming off a lost season due to a knee injury in August of 2023. While a major injury is a red flag, this could be the kind of situation where the Cowboys can buy low on a player. Before his lost 2023 season, Gage was a consistent producer in a number two or number three role with both the Buccaneers and the Atlanta Falcons. Most importantly, Gage has experience playing as a slot WR. The Cowboys have a solid selection of WRs that play outside and have unique skill sets, but they lack a proper slot WR. If Gage is available at a cut price, he could be the kind of addition that legitimately elevates the Dallas offense. Gage entered the league with the Falcons as a sixth-round pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. While Gage was able to make the 53-man roster as a rookie, he did not get on the field often. However, a bigger opportunity arrived in 2019 and the former LSU Tiger took the chance. According to Pro Football Reference, Gage caught 49 passes for 446 receiving yards and a touchdown that year. The 28-year-old had found a role with the Falcons and solidified himself as a key weapon by 2020. That year, Gage caught 72 passes for 786 receiving yards and four touchdowns. In some ways, his 2021 season was even better, although his volume totals were slightly down due to missing three games. He totaled 770 receiving yards and four touchdowns on 66 receptions and would have easily cleared his 2020 numbers if he had played all 17 games. Putting together two consecutive years of production meant Gage would get a sizable payday ahead of the 2022 campaign, but the Falcons weren't the ones to dole out the cash. Instead, the Buccaneers nabbed Gage and gave him a three-year, $30 million deal. His 2022 season in Tampa saw him struggle to replicate his numbers due to a crowded offense. But the real obstacle for Gage going forward is the knee injury he suffered last fall that preceded his release earlier this year. As mentioned above, Vaughn is trying his hand at slot WR. From the Cowboys' perspective, they need an out-and-out -out slot WR. From Vaughn's perspective, it's a way to further solidify his place on the 53-man roster. It was one of those things that we had kind of talked about at the end of the season last year, Vaughn said according to DallasCowboys.com. Talking with offensive coordinator Brian Schottenheimer, just a little bit about getting with the slot, just learning a little bit more about it. Because it's one of the things I did in college and love to do. Just adds another value. Whether or not Vaughn actually makes the switch remains to be seen but Dallas is clearly open-minded to the idea or to figuring out a new solution to the slot WR. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Russell Gage? Leave your opinion in the comments.